Well, hello there again, Eric Griffith here with Mobile Tech Services in Mobile Tech Studio B. And today I've got a amazing extension that is absolutely free that you can install. Very similar to the extension I spoke about a while ago, and that link will be here on my YouTube channel called Safe Docs that prevents students from doing a whole load of different things. Um, this extension simply prevents students from unenrolling from Google Classroom. So if you've ever had the issue where a uh, student suddenly isn't in your Google Classroom, most likely they figured out how to unenroll themselves, right? So let's take a look at how this works on a Chromebook, okay? So if a student is logged into their Chromebook, they zoom in here just a little bit and they click those three dots, they have the ability to unenroll from the classroom, all right? So kind of frustrating, was really hoping that Google would come up with a solution to just disable this. Unfortunately, they have not, all right? So uh, the quick fix is by a gentleman named Clay Smith. Clay was a, a talent agent turned tech educator, and he's currently in New York City educating and building scripts and extensions to help fight this fight of being successful with distance learning. So excellent job, Clay. Uh, when the world open back opens back up, remind me to uh, give you a crisp high five. I'm still going to wash my hands afterwards, though. So anyway, also thanks to Corey, one of our top techs here at Mobile Tech, uh, for finding this extension and letting us know. So we're definitely going to install this on all of our schools here at Mobile Tech. So anyway, how this is going to work is um, it's only going to prevent the student from unenrolling on a Chromebook because it's an extension that you push out uh, and it's going to work on the Chrome browser. Now, technically, if a student is logged into a Windows computer or a MacBook or something like that, and they have Chrome installed and they have uh, synchronized their browser, signed in with their browser and synchronized and all the stars aligned, then yes, that extension will work for them as well. However, I would uh, give it a little bit more success on a Chromebook because you can really restrict it so that only a student can sign in with a educational account on a Chromebook. So I'm, I'm going to say that this does work on Windows and Mac devices when they have a browser. It's just a huge asterisk, right? It's best on a Chromebook, all right? So again, it's going to remove that option to unenroll uh, on the student device. So very, uh, very helpful and beneficial there. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this installed, and we'll show you uh, how to do that and then what it does to the Chromebook, all right? So first, let's go ahead and jump over to my student Chromebook, and you can see right down here, if I'm signed into a Chromebook and I click those three dots, you can see they have the ability to unenroll, right? kind of frustrating if a student has that example or, or finds out that they can do that then they're going to tell their friends and then all of a sudden they're everybody's going to be unenrolled from your class and they're going to blame it on your tech person right so don't let them blame you take this uh, uh take advantage of this free extension before they figure out uh how to start blaming you all right so anyway let's jump over to my uh desktop here and what we're going to do is inside the admin console we're going to click on uh, devices right up here in the top right corner. We're going to click on devices and then we're going to go into Chrome. And then over here on the side, we're going to click on apps and extensions and click users and browsers. All right. So once we do that, we're going to select an OU. Now, normally I would install this for all of my students and then just be done with it. Uh, but today I'm just going to install it for my fake students. Uh, because I believe we already have it pushed out to the rest of the students, right? So what we want to do is right down here in this bottom corner, we want to click on where it says add from Chrome Web Store. We'll click on that. And then right up here at the top, we're going to search for block, unenroll. And it should be the very first option there. All right, so clicking on block, unenroll there. And then what you'll notice here is uh, it makes it so that that unenroll is just gone. They're going to click that button and that's all they have the ability to do is move around. So we'll click add. It goes ahead and adds the extension. The other thing you want to make sure that you do is click on force install right there. And then you want to go ahead and push save up in the top right hand corner here. So we push save and within a few seconds that is being pushed out to all of your Chromebooks that are in that OU. So let's jump back over to my Chromebook and make sure that this is installed. All right. So if it isn't installed, we're going to run a quick uh, script to make sure. So I don't see that it is installed just yet. So being that I'm impatient, I'm going to open up a new tab and we're going to type in Chrome colon 
forward slash, forward slash, and then policy, right? And as soon as I type in policy there, I have the option here to reload policies. And what that's going to do is push or force all those extensions and things that, that haven't been installed just yet uh, back onto the Chromebook. Okay, so let's verify that that worked. Let's click that. And now we see block unenroll is there. Awesome. So let's go ahead and close this policies page. Again, that's not something you would have to do eventually within a couple of seconds, maybe minutes. It's going to automatically get out to your Chromebook anyway. Just for the heck of it, we're going to refresh our Chrome browser here. And now that we've refreshed our Chrome browser, when we zoom in and click right here, nothing happens. The student cannot click unenroll. Okay. Now, normally you'd be able to move that around too, but this student only has one Google Classroom, so they can't even do that. All right. So congratulations. You've forced students to have to do their assignments. You're a monster. So anyway, if you're a tech teacher and you found this, please forward this on to your tech director or your Google admin so they can get started pushing this out. And if they have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments and we will help out. As always, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and possibly even a subscribe. And I hope you have a griftastic day. Thanks.